right, welcome to the SQL section of the learning path here. Uh, this video is just a quick one to cover um, some stuff that you need to have set up on your computer before we get started working through the rest of the content in this section here. So uh, to, the two things that we're going to be using here uh, in this section, we're going to be using Postgres for a database, and then we're going to be using Table Plus as a way to interact with databases that we create. So the first part uh, for Postgres, if you come over to Go Rails, we have a guide for uh, installing Postgres. So if you go to Guides here, and in the Install Ruby on Rails guide, if you click into this, uh, you'll see stuff. Uh, it defaults to your current uh, operating system and version, but you, uh, you can just select different ones to fit your needs if you need to. Um, and if you scroll down in this guide here, there's a section for Postgres under setting up a database is where it starts here. Uh, there's stuff about uh, SQLite, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. Now we're going to be using Postgres, so you'll want to uh, follow the steps here. Uh, you can use uh, Brew if you're on a Mac here to install this stuff, uh, and this will again, you know, change uh, based upon your operating system um, from the list above. So if you follow the steps here, uh, you should be able to get Postgres set up and running, and then. Uh, as you see here, it's noted that once you run this command, uh, the Postgres will give you a couple of other commands to run to finish out the setup. So Postgres, uh, you'll want to follow this section here. It's just a short little section for installing Postgres on your machine. Do that, and then you can go over to Table Plus, and then it's just tableplus.com, and you can download for your appropriate uh, operating system, and go ahead and follow the install steps for that. So. Once you have both of these set up on your machine, you can hop over to the next video and we can start working through the content. So I will see you there.